So we're gonna do a couple of poses today to really find space through the upper back and then the middle back in order to get into the full extension of our back bend. So we're gonna start down on our stomach. So just lay yourself all the way down and setting yourself up for a cobra pose. So your fingertips are underneath your shoulders, let your feet just relax down and then roll your shoulders. Instead of just lifting up as high as you can, you should focus on really pushing your sternum forward. So lift up, so maybe you're only really low, maybe lift up a little bit high, but focus mostly on your upper back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, push your breast, breastbone forward and breathe and then lower yourself all the way down. So you really wanna feel the muscles in your back squeezing together so you push your chest forward. Second variation, I want you to interlace your hands behind your back, roll your shoulders and open your chest. Don't let your chin come up, so nice long back of the neck and then pull your knuckles backwards towards your heels to lift your chest up. Relax your feet down, don't squeeze your bottom too much. Don't let do this with the head, nice long neck. Full inhale, full exhale. And then lower yourself all the way down. So you can go for a couple of rounds through each of those, just finding space in the upper back. Then we're gonna come all the way up onto our knees, so high knees now. So open your knees hip width apart and just tuck your toes underneath. So we're gonna think more about finding space into the middle back now, whilst keeping that space in the shoulders that you've already created. So take your hands around behind your back, fingertips facing down, roll your shoulders and puff your chest up. So really think about the heart lifting up rather than just going back. Just the heart lifting up. Roll your shoulders, push your chest up. Breathing in and out. Really trying to push the breath right into the chest where it feels restricted. And then coming all the way up. So next variation, if you can reach down to your heels, you're gonna go there, but make sure your hips stay above your knees. So not coming back into this position. You wanna keep your hips forward. Again, start the same way, roll the shoulders, puff the chest up. Then maybe if you can, the hands come down, thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside, then roll your shoulders and lift your chest up. Notice how my hips are still over my knees, lifting my chest. You can drop your head back if it feels okay. Otherwise, just keep your head all the way up towards your chest and breathe right into that space. Good, to come back out, one hand at a time on the lower back, and you'll bring yourself up. So again, a couple of variations, a couple of rounds, just work to your own capacity. So I'm just gonna take you through one more, a little bit more advanced posture. If you are already competent in your camel pose, you're gonna bring your hands to your heart. So don't try this one unless you're really competent in the previous one. So you're gonna lift your chest up, open up through your heart, slowly, so keep control with your legs, keep puffing up through your chest the whole time. Let your head drop back and maybe take the hands all the way down to the floor. You can just stay there. If you feel good there, walk your hands in, grab hold of your feet. Bring your elbows all the way down. Now you've got space in your upper back, your shoulders. Try to relax your bottom so you're not pressing into your lower back. Hold for a few moments again. Then again, press back up, exiting the same way, hands to heart. Engage your legs to pull yourself all the way up. Good, make sure you take a child's pose when you're finished with your back bending or any other forward fold just to really stretch out through your lower back. 